Polestar released their annual best grossing concert and live shows. They released their 2023 numbers. And for 2023, U2 topped the list with 109 million. They are followed by Beyonce, a festival, Coldplay, Beyonce again, another Beyonce, Harry Styles, Beyonce for the fourth time, George Strait, and Beyonce again at number 10. Now, many are asking, what is Polestar? How are they different from Touring Data, also known as Boxcore, who is more reliable? How do they get their data? And why are some artists who were believed to have earned more than some of those that made it in the top 30 didn't actually make the list, such as Taylor Swift? So let's get down to it. I kind of anticipated that some of you would be asking me to talk about Polestar after they released their 2023 top 300 grossing concerts. And I was right. So I tried to do something quick, but also accurate. I'll try to do to answer as many questions as I, as I could. I do have a meeting with them at the end of the week um, for some stuff. So let, if I don't answer your question here, let me know. Just send me a message or something and I'll, I'll ask them when I meet with them. But just a reminder, this rankings or any kind of chart, this or any other kind of chart, they're not 100% accurate. That's one. Um, they will never be 100% accurate. Second is that they are for profit. Remember that the companies that are releasing all of these charts and these figures, they are for profit. Number two, obsessing over things like this is useless. What matters is how your favorite artist's music impacts your life and how their music contributes to something bigger, right? Um, also, the gross revenue that you are going to see, they don't represent the value of the money because of inflation. <laughs> so the value of my $100 will not will be way lower in a year and the thing is that the real inflation is actually way higher than what the government releases so it may say for example a million dollars but that's actually worth less because because of inflation okay all right let's go to the video data sources there are many companies that release live show data but the most popular ones are polestar and box score, also known as Turing data. Neither can guarantee 100% accurate data. They both get their data almost the same way, from the venues itself, reported by the artist or their management, and from the concert organizers. How do I know? Because I asked them. It's also on their website. And once you work in the industry, these things become common knowledge. It's not like they're trying to hide it. Now, let's look at the top 10 tours of 2023 as released by each. For Box Core, it's Beyonce topping the list, Coldplay, Harry Style, Morgan Whelan, Ed Sheeran, Pink, Elton John, The Weeknd, Depeche Mode, and Blackpink. For Polestar, topping the list is Taylor Swift, Beyonce, Bruce Springsteen, Coldplay, Harry Styles, Morgan Whelan, Ed Sheeran, Pink, The Weeknd, and Drake. So the obvious question is, if they are getting their data from the same sources, why is their list different? They differ in how they verify the data. Polestar has their own team and researchers who verify the data that they get. For Turing Data, for example, because they want to be fast in reporting, all they need is an official release number to publish the numbers just so they can have something to back up their claims. Most of the time, that comes from the artist or the artist's management company. Polestar tries to verify the numbers. They try to get the data from all sources. So how do they decide what data to use? What if the data from the venue differs from the data given by the management company. The answer I got was very proper, quote unquote, meaning it sounded like they were being safe. And I think it's because they also have relationships with management companies, artists, and other organizations that they don't want to mess up. So instead of saying something that could imply certain things that could put the credibility of others on the line, they opt to be political about it. 
Let us remember that management companies, regardless who the artist is, will always want to say that the concert is 100% sold out. So it's up to Polestar and supposedly Boxcore to obtain accurate data from all sources and analyze them. But sometimes, the truth isn't always pleasant. And releasing that truth could put certain artists or certain management companies in a bad light. But lying would put the credibility of Polestar on the line. So sometimes, releasing them is worse than not releasing them. Dig deeper into the numbers. One thing you should do is look closely into the numbers. Polestar 2023 year-end top concerts list is somewhat different from Boxcore, even though they use the same system. In Polestar, U2 is number one. George Strait is number nine. Hard Summer Music Festival is number 13. And Metallica at number 28. This four and several more didn't appear in the Boxcore's top 30. Why? Probably because U2 has a residency in the sphere. They have had 17 shows there for 109 million gross ticket sales, unlike the other concerts that are part of a bigger tour. And then for other artists, it seems Boxcore didn't obtain the data for other acts. Boxcore also didn't count the festivals. However, they also have some consistent data. Boxcore reported that Ed Sheeran's show in Melbourne grossed 20 million, and Polestar reported it to be 20,844,960. Boxcore put Beyonce's SoFi concert at 45.5 million. Polestar put it at 45,540,420. So always provide for that kind of nuance. They're also not above some questionable data. Here is a tip. In the top 300 grossing concerts for 2023, the last figure represents the gross revenue. The figure in the shaded area, that's supposed to be the total number of tickets sold. For you to get the average ticket price, divide the total gross revenue by the number of tickets sold. Now check the ticket price listed. You will find there is an inconsistency in a couple or more. So of the two, which one is more credible? Polestar is considered more credible, but they are not, as I've said in the beginning, 100% accurate. No one can ever claim they are 100% accurate. They have been around longer, and as I've said, they have a team that tries to actually actively obtain data from all sources. However, they are also not above the politics of the industry. No one is. They were created as a for-profit business, not to change the culture of the music industry or something like that. And just to note, just before I recorded this, I was trying to access Polestar's 2023 year-end top 300 concert grosses and I can't access it anymore. Maybe they will amend it. After all, it's unbelievable Taylor Swift is not in the list. Good thing I was able to download a copy of it. Let me know if you want to have it. If they amend and put Taylor Swift in there, everyone else will be pushed down. Is there a way fans can verify the data? Yeah, there are some ways. One way is to watch for the announcement made by the venue. The venue, more often than not, releases a congratulatory message on social media when a new act sells out a series of shows. They won't necessarily release the exact number, but they will say if it's 100% sold out. Another way is to call the venue and ask. Usually, if you have a media credential and that is relevant enough, they will provide you the numbers or some sort of a response and you can gauge how good or bad it is. Third is to watch the sales yourself. If several days before the show and there is a significant amount of tickets still available, that's probably not going to sell out. If it sells out on the day of the concert, then that's probably manipulated. Yes, there are fans who would go to the venue on the day off to buy, but that is very rare nowadays. Most of the fans that go to the venue on the day off to buy actually target scalpers. They either want to get the ticket for a lower price and would look for someone who would just want to let go of the ticket, or fans are desperate for a ticket and would buy from scalpers even at a high price just to get one. 
by watching the ticket sales, you're probably not going to get the exact numbers, but you're going to get an idea whether or not it's actually sold out. The last one is to go to the concert and see for yourself. Now, it's possible there are people who simply won't make it to the concert, but that is so insignificant in percentage that it doesn't actually matter. It's less than 0.01% or something like that. So if Polestar is credible, why is Taylor Swift's concert not in the top 300 top grossing concerts? I would consider her more an exception. She is in, she's top one. She's number one in the top 300 top grossing tours for 2023, but not in the concert. But I would consider her more an exception. I will not group her with other artists. Now you are asked, you asked me like, why is this certain artist not in the top 300 when according to their media release? that they earn this much and whatever it boils down to verification if they can't verify the numbers or if the numbers will cause some kind of conflict then they probably will not publish it why is coachella not in the top 300 when other festivals are last year was the worst selling for in terms of ticket sales for for coachella um in it, it, it is the worst in a while because there were there was a time when coachella was not mainstream so when they started becoming mainstream you know ticket sales went up and so it hasn't been this bad in a while um but who knows maybe this year i heard it is not selling well as well um a good indication actually this is just a trivia is real estate so during the festival week airbnbs motels hotels inns, and even the those vans and buses where which you can rent and then you can stay there and live there for a week or two or whatever those actually they sell out fast because a lot of people are trying to rent them for the two weekends of coachella um but last year was just really bad a lot of the real estate owners they're like oh, it's not selling this this year that that well um next is that no one really knows the numbers um so it's really useless to obsess over something like this i mean taylor swift is not concerned about it being in this list <laughs> I mean, whether or not she's there everyone knows that she's the biggest selling artist for 2023 so it's not the be all and end all of the popularity of anybody um besides as i've said no one knows the real numbers except the management of the artist the venue or the concert promoters because and they will not release it if it's not going to make the artist look good so it's kind of useless to talk about it because nothing's gonna happen they, you won't know anyway so just enjoy your artists live their message is the best thing support their music and next time that they have a concert make sure that you watch but more importantly if you really love them become a fan that would be a good representation of their uh, music and their message that's it i hope i helped <laughs> as i've said i have a meeting with them at the end of the week so if there's any other question that uh, any question that I did not answer in this video, let me know. Maybe I can ask them. If you have any suggestions, comments, just as long as you say it respectfully, leave it in the comment section below. You can also uh, get in touch with me in any of the social media links. And um, like this video <laughs> if it helped you, if you liked it or if you enjoyed it. Also subscribe and hit that notification button. And share the video if you can. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all.